How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you all doing fine. I hope you all doing great. These two, two are my little nephew, Jackson and Austin. Say what's up, fellas. What's up, fellas? Well, something like that. You know how kids are. So we ask ourselves, how did we get here today? That was my big thing, you know, because unfortunately, I was in you know, English 101, Rep 101, but I didn't write anything, unfortunately. But that's OK, I'm going to wing it. I asked myself, how did I actually get here? Because you know? I looked up, and here I am. You know? After all these years, many, many moons, here I am, back where we once started, being honored, which is a great honor for me. And I know many of you all in this room tonight that's also inductees. How did I get here? It all started, I think, back in 19, about 1982, you know, around that time. You know, as a kid, when I was watching the San Francisco 49ers play the Cincinnati Bengals in the Super Bowl, and I was watching Ken Anderson take off the ball and slide under two defenders, and two other defenders collided, and I was like, I want to do that one day. But I didn't know how to get to the NFL. No clue. I was like, I was like their age at that point. I'm like, how do I get there? And as I grew older, as I played for Washington uh, Elementary and Washington Minutemen and went on to play in high school, I figured you get there, you got to get to college first. All right. And believe it or not, at this time, I wasn't the biggest recruit. Matter of fact, I wasn't being recruited at all in, in high school, but I had an ambition. I came to high school to play running back. I actually thought I was going to be scoring touchdowns. I was watching Walter Payton, and I was like, I want to do that. I want to score touchdowns. You know, I want to be a big offensive threat. But then I kept growing, I kept growing, and, and my high school coach said I started fumbling a little bit, you know. And, but that's okay, you know what I mean? But they had found a spot for me on defense. And by my junior year, I said, you know what? I sat on the bench all year with one of my best friends, Lamont Caldwell, who's not here right now. And we had many discussions. He went on, he transferred, he went on to uh, play at Julian, and I'm still at Mount Carmel. And during that time, I started having to make a business decision. You know, I'm like, you know, my coach told me, you know what, Simeon, if you move the defense, you could be really, really special. And he kind of broke my will my junior year because I sat on the bench the whole year. We won state. And they won state, you know, they won state without me. I played one, one two plays, one at tight end, another at uh, strong safety. And it was in the state game. We blew the team out. I wanted to play with my childhood hero, who was Bobby Sanders, who also attended the University of Illinois. And I also want to talk about influences and opportunities. So with the opportunity, you know, going on to college, I had a... I had my first visit. I think my first visit was on to Louisville. Went on to Louisville, went to Boston College. But I knew I wanted to play with Bobby because I really didn't have a chance to actually play with him at Mount Carmel. You know, so I was like, I'm going to follow in Bobby's footsteps and come to Illinois. Come to Illinois on my recruiting visit. Coach Kobe took me to a restaurant, fed me three cheeseburgers, two, uh, two strawberry shakes, and all the fries I can eat. And I was like, yeah, I like this. I like this treatment. I could deal with this. So from that point, I, I, I tell Coach uh, Kobe and Coach Marson, uh, God rest the dead, uh, God bless him. He was one of my favorite guys. He passed on. I told him I was going to sign on the dotted line. I was their last recruit. Came in my, um, my freshman year. We had a pre-camp and didn't know what I was going to do. I actually thought I was going to come to uh, uh, Illinois and play some running back, believe it or not. I thought I was going to trick them all and catch punts, and all right, now I'm going to really show my high school coach. So that week, I'm at, I'm at practice. Each day, I'm playing a different position. You know, every coach is like arguing about what position I could play. as a fantastic athlete. He can do so many things. And I really didn't know. All I knew, I just wanted to make an impact. I wanted to make an impact. I wanted to take advantage of an opportunity. So I came in the first week. They put me with the D-line. I worked out with the defensive ends. And at this point, we all had four, four uh, we, we got two hands on the grounds coming off the ball on the edge of the offensive tackle, working off the guard sometimes. 
Then I had Coach Kobe was like, you know, I think he'll be best served rushing the passer. You know, he's super athletic. Let's take advantage of his speed. Coach Martian agreed. And then they asked me, I never forget, I was the first freshman in the play since 1987. I said, Simeon, we, we think about playing you at rush linebacker. We uh, think about starting you as a true freshman. Are you down for that? I was like, yeah. I actually was excited to be a red shirt freshman because it just sounded cool. I didn't even know what a red shirt freshman really did. You know, I had no clue. I was just excited to do it. And they're like, no, you're going to be a true freshman. You're going to play. I said, okay. So that being said, I knew I had to make an impact. I just did. And, I, and what I was obsessed with was working hard, being different, being unique. And as I, as I stated before, at their age, I already made the declaration that I wanted to play football and I wanted to go to college and I wanted to be, have a meaningful career. And I winded up at Illinois. And it was the best time of my life. It honestly was the best time of my life. I was excited week to week, day to day, game to game to, to put on that orange and blue. It was no better feeling. This feeling today is similar to a father saying a job well done. No, no, no matter what I did in my life, I went on and won a Super Bowl. I went on and played with some of the greatest players that ever played the game in the NFL. I went on to play on one of the greatest defenses that ever played in the NFL on those white lines. But I'm telling you, the foundation that it was set back in 1992 to 96 was something special and was something unique. It was a time of my life of humility. It was a time of my life of finding myself. It was a time of my life of building. And I planted a seed. I had a bunch of teammates here that was just unbelievable. Dana Howard, John Hollisek, Kevin, Kevin Hardy. I mean, those guys, those linebackers, that unit, we pushed ourselves to be better than we, we ever could be, to be what we were capable of. And I tell my little nephews this today, if you put your mind to something and you put your heart in it, anything is possible. Like your uncle was, was you one, once. once. Once upon a time I was you. I looked just like you, but darker. <laughs> you know? And, and here we are, here we stand. Here's the future of Illinois right here. This is what it's about. It's about that. You can do anything you put your minds to, you dedicate yourselves to it, you become obsessed with it, and you execute. No excuses. I love you guys, I love you guys. Mom and dad, rest in peace. You all see me, finish you all's legacy. Thank you all for coming all out. God bless you all. That's good, fellas.